You are the light of my life. You are the best thing that has happened to me. You are great. You are amazing. I'm so in love with you. I love you. And we love you. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to share a little bit more of my life. I am very into watching videos. If you're watching airplanes, oh my goodness. And I like watching lifestyle videos, budgeting videos, and just how people do things for their family. And I thought it would be interesting to show how I do things for our family. Um, and I have actually been asked to do this, like, at least once, um, to show how we grocery shop. So we are a soon-to-be family of four. I am Alexis. I am 22 if you're new here. I'm married to my husband, Gio, who is also 22. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and he works full-time, way more than full-time. Um, we have a two-and-a-half-year-old son named Micah, and... I am pregnant with our second baby and his name is Jude and he comes in March. So this is how I budget for groceries. So I follow the rule of $100 per person starting at $300. So if you are a one person household, I would tell you that you should spend no more than $300 of groceries a month. Um, and we're a family of three currently, so we only spend $300 per month. And maybe as our infant gets bigger, we will expand that to $400. But right now we just spend $300. We spend approximately $150 every two weeks. Um, and you can tweak that more or less. There's some weeks where I'm able to do $100, and there's some weeks where I go a little bit over. But as long as you just budget it into your budget and stick to it, you should should be fine and then I have a little notebook it's literally just a little tiny notebook and I write our grocery list in there I have a notes pad right here so as we run out of things or things that just like pop up in my head that I want to get the next time say I'm like hey I should buy waffles the next time we grocery shop I will go and add waffles to the list um, and <laughs> um, then I will go into the notebook and I will put Oh, I don't know. Go watch your show, please. I will put grains, dairy, um, and the biggest part of our budget is six dinners. We Most of our groceries are six dinners. We make about three dinners a week and eat the leftovers, um, and it works well for us. <laughs> and, um, of course, we have other things. My eye is, like, itchy. Sorry if I'm grossing you out. And I also do grocery curbside pickup. It's just easier with a toddler. You can see your running total. You can take things off and add things on. And you don't have as much impulse buying as if you're in the store. If I don't have waffles on the list, but then I see waffles, I might try to justify it to myself. So this way, if I don't think of waffles, then I don't see the waffles. So then I probably won't get the waffles and I'll stick to my list. So we spent... I don't have my exact totals, I don't remember, but we spent about $150 on groceries and the end total was like 160 something because we did get some non-grocery items. Um, sometimes I will budget that into our grocery budget if we have like a lot left over. Say I only spent $100 for the food, then I will like throw in toilet paper in the grocery budget. It kind of just depends on what I'm feeling um, and sometimes I will have a separate household goods budget for toilet paper, soaps, things like that. So let's get into it and show you what I got. I'm trying to like, I don't know, this is my first time doing this and my table is small, so this is difficult. Um, before I start, I want to say I have Dr. Po Dr. Peppers and water in the trunk of my car. Um, it's a 12 pack Dr. Pepper and a 24 pack water bottles, which I know is so bad, but honestly, like, <sighs> I prefer water bottles. I tried the Brita, it hurts my stomach, but here we are this is all of our groceries for two weeks now um we may have to go out and get more like fresh veggies and fruits but um storing a lot of this in the fridge actually makes it last pretty well this is literally the third time i've tried to film this portion first my son was in the way then i got a call and then my dog started eating cookies so i have bread right here i try not to be a brand name snob for the bread but my husband kind of is I did not realize I bought two tortillas. Oh, they. 
I think they just gave me two tin counts because I um, had bought a 20 count, but they must have not had it. So I have two flour tortillas to make some uh, quesadillas. And then I have some corn tortillas to make some tortilla chips to put into a uh, chicken tortilla soup I will be making. Um, and then we have some frozen garlic bread over here to pair with spaghetti. So here's like all of my produce stacked on top of each other. I have mandarin oranges for my son and for my husband. These are really good snacks. I have some organic bananas. They gave me the smallest ones ever, but they go bad fast, so that's fine. Okay, then throw it away. I have some parsley. You have to wait until lunch. Please let me film this. Go sit down. Not right now. You just had a snack. You need to wait until lunch. Go sit down. I have some garlic and parsley in here. I have five avocados, some for the soup I am making and some just to eat with toast or something. I really like avocados. I have a bagged salad. I don't know, I'm just trying to eat better. I have some organic apples and some grapes. I have onion for cooking the meals, a tomato for my husband for sandwiches, I have some, I don't know if I mentioned broccoli, broccoli and carrot chips. I'm not very good with eating veggies unless it's like in a dinner and I want to try to like incorporate them into more meals, so I'm trying. I have cucumbers, I love cucumbers, some garlic, lettuce for sandwiches, I like lettuce on my sandwiches and then I think this is parsley, I can't really tell the difference, but I have cilantro and parsley in there. Um, and I think, oh, I have some strawberries too. And I think that's the extent of that. Um, over here I have some marshmallows because we have some hot cocoa. What? You want to take it off? Come here. Wow, there's a snake in your boot. I have some marshmallows because we have hot cocoa. I have two bags of mozzarella cheese and two bags of Parmesan cheese. These are for a pasta salad and I think a pasta I am making. Uh, I don't really know. Something like that. Now that I think of it, I think I forgot the pasta for one of the meals. But we will make it work. We will make it work. Um, I have some turkey, some bacon, we just eat this with like sandwiches, mostly actually sandwiches. Um, some pepperoni slices for the pasta salad, some ground beef. I have some more in the freezer for um, the quesadillas. And then some chicken, I have more in the freezer, I'm going to make like three chicken meals. It's just really easy, my husband never has any ideas on what he wants and then I find ideas and then I run out of ideas and I ask him and he's like whatever you want and so we eat a lot of the same meals. Um, I have some meatballs for the spaghetti, I already had noodles so I kind of like shop my pantry while making my list. We had pasta salad and spaghetti the last grocery haul but I had noodles left so I just decided to buy what I needed to finish the meal off. Um, I have some uh, ramen soups. We usually don't buy these actually. We used to eat them a lot. Not anymore. They're not that good for you, but my pregnant self is craving some spicy noodles. Um, over here I have some ripple milk. I have tons of almond milk still in the fridge and we bought a lot of Chobani yogurts. I've been having like really bad indigestion this pregnancy and dairy helps and this is something light and easy for me to eat um, without overeating and they're easy for Gio to take in the morning on his way to work for breakfast. I have some cheese slices under here I got for free when I bought the turkey. I have some pretzel sticks over here. You can eat them alone with pretzel, I mean, with Nutella or peanut butter, which we already have. I got my son these snacks. We only give him snacks like this usually when we're out and about. Otherwise, he can get fruit or like a big bag snack or something like that. Um, but I decided to spoil him a little bit. I usually get the Annie's like organic snacks, but I think he's kind of getting bored of those. And honestly, like I want some cookies sometimes. So this is like good that they're little packages and I can control myself. 
Over here I have some honey, mostly because I've been drinking an indigestion tea um, from Pink Stork for my pregnancy and I think it would taste really good with honey and it's local which helps with your immune system. And then I got some coconut oil, no real reason, I just wanted it in my pantry because it's good for you. Um, I got some Italian dressing for the pasta salad, some spaghetti sauce for the spaghetti. I got these drinks, these yogurt drinks. Um, these are just really easy for when you need a snack or light breakfast. No food, you just had a snack. You need to wait until lunch. I've literally told him that like 500 times now. And um, with being pregnant and having indigestion and your stomach's all squished, etc., it's best to eat smaller meals. So um, if I eat a light breakfast, I will get like nauseous because I haven't eaten and this will like make it easy snack to like hold me over. Um, I got some canned soups because I really am just craving soup like easy meals. Um, and I got some crushed red tomatoes for I think it's a chicken parmesan I'm making. And then I got some olives for the pasta salad. My son is playing in the bags. Um, I got some Ritz crackers. I'm just trying to have like healthier snacks. They're probably not that healthy, but they're healthier than um, no food. You have to wait until lunch. These are healthier than like cookies or chips. Um, and then I got the pasta for the pasta salad. I have another one in the pantry already. Then right here I got my husband's vitamins and I got prenatals and then I got some hand sanitizer for when I change my son's diaper. Is mommy owie? My and My that will owie. last us two whole weeks. Now we do have some things in our pantry and our fridge and our freezer already. It's not like empty. Um, and this will last us. Um, we have plenty for breakfast. We have tons of cereal still. We have tons of oatmeal and stuff. Um, and I think I did just forget one package of noodles that I need for my parmesan chicken but I might be wrong so I might have to end up going to the store and getting some of those um but this is it this is what we did our damage and that is what we spend as a family of three soon to be four with a hungry toddler and pregnant I haven't found being pregnant I need to like increase the grocery budget um we still have stuff like in the fridge. Like it's not like our pantries and our kitchen is completely empty. We still have cereals and oatmeals and stuff for breakfast, etc. And we still have milks in there that we haven't gotten to and juices in there that we haven't gotten to. And so I don't find the need to increase our grocery budget just yet. Um, but tell me what you think. Tell me how much you spend for your family, how big your household is, how you grocery budget. Like, do you just go to the grocery store and buy or do you like write things out and follow the list? Because I tend to be more of that person. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Raising Baby Diaz. Turn on your post notifications so you won't miss a video. And in the end slate, there will be a video that YouTube will pick just for you. I'm going to go prepare this and put this up, which is a whole different story. <laughs> and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye. Are you eating grapes? Are you eating grapes, donut boy? <gasps> Did you get donuts this morning? Where the donuts go? Oh no. You ate them. They're in your belly. They're in here. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. Whoa. Bye. Say, say bye, see ya. Bye, dear.